If you're in Oregon, just to let you know, you need to have a permit for Oregon for two reasons. One, you'll get a 400 and something dollar fine if you don't, if you go to a way station. And number two, at the fuel pump, you have to put your permit number in to get fuel in Oregon. And then your license plate number two. But we just did that and Mark's 34 hour reset is going to be up in seven minutes. So uh, we're going to head to Seattle with fresh clocks. People! spot we're supposed to be next door over at Delta and well we're here in Alaska I see that one every day Booney we're going to San Francisco in LA yay All right, well we are almost loaded the freight that's going to LA is already on the trailer and now he's gonna start loading us with what we're taking to San Francisco so I'll keep this video going uh, 
at least we can show you guys some San Francisco because I know most of you haven't seen that. One. Hey, these Seattle Seahawks fans across the street from here are here to greet the Seahawks when they fly in. We're here at the airport in Seattle and they played uh, the St. Louis Rams and lost, unfortunately. Um, but he says a lot of times there's like 700 people out here greeting them. There looks like there's I don't know, 10. And here's this chicken guy again. Chicken man. Chicken man. <laughs> and he's got some kind of thing that makes burp, burp sounds as he rides. Go see y'all. Go home. Bert and Ernie in the morning. And we are in or. That Orlando. I just woke up, people. In Oregon still, but we're almost in California. But guess where we're at? Walmart. Gonna grab a few quick supplies and then get on the road and head it to San Francisco. Mark just brought something to my attention. We are not gay puppets from Sesame Street, Bert and Ernie. It's bright and early. It, well, actually, it's not even bright yet because it's still dark, but it is early. I think it's uh, what? 4 a.m. Pacific time. 4 o'clock in the morning is not a bad time to come to Walmart. There's hardly any customers here and they're out stocking. So if you need help finding anything, there's people around. Such as Bumblebee Tuna, the Thai Melody. This stuff here is awesome. But sometimes you can find it in a big can instead of these little snack packs. Because I already have crackers. Let me ask. I'm getting one. All right, back in the truck, 377 miles from the San Francisco airport, and I found something I hadn't had in a while, a delicious apple fritter. Mmm, it is so good. than 100 miles from San Francisco. So for all of you guys that I, my chosen intro song didn't run you off, which I'm sure it happened to a few, you're gonna have a San Francisco treat because it is a cool looking city. And maybe, just maybe, we'll see Alcatraz. We'll have to wait and see.
Giant Stadium. San Francisco Airport. 12 minutes to spare on my first eight hours. All right, we are almost unloaded. Two more containers and uh, we'll be ready to finish our trip to Los Angeles for the LAX. All right, well, I guess it's time to get on the road and head to LA. It's, uh, it's a little further than I was thinking it is. It's almost 400 miles away which um, I've got less than four hours left on my clock, so I'm not gonna make it. Mark's gonna have to get us there. It is a new day. Uh, LAX has been delivered. I was snoozing, people. Sorry you didn't get that on camera, but uh, I just got a fresh shower and washed my clothes at our Fontana terminal, and now we're headed over to the FedEx in Bloomington, California, to pick up a load that's going to Atlanta. But it is raining in Southern California. By the looks of the radar, it's gonna be raining all day in Southern California. I finally found a place to park, and now I can go inside. Here's our trailer. Got one of the new ones. It leaves those extra set of wheels, whatever they're called, so they can do their doubles, just laying around in the most random places. There's a few more. Cluster up in there. There's a few more. Another one off by itself. No, it looks like there's one over there. There's a couple more. And some more. There's a bunch of them there. FedEx is behind us. We are eastbound and down, headed towards Atlanta. Got a little less than 2,100 miles to go, so we should get there sometime Thursday morning. But we're on I 40, just past a sign where 40 began or ended, it depends on how you look at it. It said Wilmington, North Carolina, 2,554 miles away. You can go all the way across the entire United States on I-40. And also... One last thing before we wrap up episode 66. I wanted to give a special thanks to another trucker that, that's out there that's also making YouTube videos. Been doing it a little longer than I have and has a, a larger following. Has well over a thousand subscribers but the last week or so I noticed man I was getting you know 10 15 new subscribers every single day and I was like man that pyramid video really must have been awesome <laughs> well I thought it was but I don't think that was the case I think it's because of you Bob uh, yeah the truck driver that has a YouTube video his uh, name is dump truck Bob real cool guy you should check his videos out if you hadn't already and for all the new subscribers that came from Bob hey thanks for coming over and checking out the videos I hope you are enjoying the journey but come on back next episode for uh, 67 We'll be coming soon. Have a great day. Be safe out, out there, guys. Keep on trucking.